hello my dear students welcome to read my j youtube channel so today we are going to solve class 12 ncrt and this is the chapter relation and function exercise 1.1 so let's start so first question is saying determine whether each of the following relations are reflexive symmetric and transitive so recall that a relation r is reflexive on a set a when for all x belongs to a x comma x is belongs to r and r is symmetric when x comma y belongs to r implies y comma x belongs to r okay and r is transitive when x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r that implies x comma z is belongs to r so this is the conditions so now problem number 1 relation r in the set a 1 2 3 4 up to 14 defined as r equal to x comma y such that 3x minus y equal to 0 so we have to check this relation is whether reflexive symmetric or transitive so let us check 3x minus y equal to 0 so after solving this equation we get 3x equal to y uh, that is y equal to 3x that means we have to take x and y from this set a we have to take x y from this set a we have to remember that so let's take x equal to 1 then what y equal to 3 into 1 that is 3 that means we can write the relation r as the elements so 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 6 3 comma 9 and 4 comma 12 and if we take x equal to 5 that means y equal to 15 and 15 is not in the set a so this is the relation r so check here 1 comma 1 does not belongs to r and obviously for all x belongs to a x comma x does not belongs to r so this function is not reflexive not reflexive function not reflexive function okay now we have to check whether x y belongs to r that implies y x belongs to r see the r is this so let us take another page r is 1 comma 3 2 comma 6 3 comma 9 and 4 comma 12 so here we can see that 1 comma 3 is in r but 3 comma 1 does not belongs to r so that implies that r is not symmetric relation okay i hope you understand that and now we have to check whether r is transitive so the condition for it relation being transitive is x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r if these two happens then only we have to check that x comma z belongs to r only then if these two happens these two conditions are satisfied then we have to check whether this is in the r no or not so see 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 9 
is in R. So, 1 comma 3 and 3 comma 9 is in R, but 1 comma 9 does not belong to R. So, these two conditions are satisfied, but this condition is not satisfied. So, R is not transitive. Okay. So, R is not reflexive relation. It is not transitive and also it is not symmetric relation. So, I hope you understand that. So, problem number 2 is saying the relation R in the set of natural numbers n is defined as R equal to x comma y such that y equal to x plus 5 and x is less than 4. So, what is the relation x comma y such that y equal to x plus 5 and x less than 4. So, x is in the natural number so and x is less than 4 that means x equal to what 1 2 3 so this is the x and if we put x here in this relation y equal to x plus 5 then we get y equal to what 6 comma 7 comma 8 so that means what we are getting r equal to 1 comma 6 2 comma 7 and 8 okay so now we have to check whether this is symmetric reflexive or transitive so clearly you can see that for all x belongs to natural number because this set is defined on the natural number because r is defined n to n the relation is defined from natural number to natural number okay so for all n belongs to for all x belongs to n x comma x does not belongs to r so r is not r is not reflexive relation okay now check 1 6 1 comma 6 is there in r but 6 comma is 1 is not there in r so simply that implies that r is not r is not symmetric okay now we have to check whether it is transitive or not r equal to 1 comma 6 2 comma 7 3 comma 8 r equal to 1 comma 6 2 comma 7 and 3 comma 8 see here x comma y and y comma z belongs to r if this happens so you can see that here x y and y z are different and we cannot find a y such that x comma y and y comma z belongs to r we cannot find we cannot find a y okay so this condition is invalid for this relation this condition does not hold for this relation so in the contrapositive way r is a transitive relation transitive relation because we don't have any y such that xy and yz belongs to r so that is why it is contrapositively this relation is transitive so we see that r is transitive relation but not symmetric but not symmetric and not reflexive relation okay
please go through this problem once again and you will find something interesting how this relation is transitive so next problem question number one problem number three the relation r in the set a which is one two three four five six and defined as r x y such that y is divisible by x here y is divisible by x that means r equal to x y such that y is divisible by x divisible by x so now check and you are given that a is from 1 to 6 so let's write the relation r as a elements so 1 divides 1 that means 1 comma 1 is there 2 divides 2 that means 2 comma 2 is there 3 divides 3 3 comma 3 4 divides 4 that means 4 comma 4 is there and 5 comma 5 is there and also 6 comma 6 is in the set okay now y is divisible by x that means 1 divides 2 1 divides 3 1 divides 4 1 divides 5 and also 1 divides 6 after that 2 divides 4 and 2 divides 6 and after that 3 divides 6 now check the r is the relation and this relation contains these only these elements because x is divisible by oh sorry y is divisible by x and r is the r is consist of these elements so now check for all x belongs to a this set a all the elements in a whether this condition x comma s belongs to r so you can check that it is easily satisfied because this 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 and 5 comma 5 is in r so r is reflexive relation okay easily you can check r is reflexive relation now we have to check whether x comma y belongs to r that implies y comma x belongs to r so take any take any 1 comma 4 this belongs to r because 4 is divisible by 1 but if we write this 4 comma 1 what it imply that implies that 1 is divisible by 4 divisible by 4 and this is not true this is false so 1 comma 4 belongs to r but 4 comma 1 does not belong to r so that implies that r is not symmetric relation that implies that r is not symmetric relation on a now we have to check whether it is transitive or not now check x y belongs to r and y z belongs to r and obviously x y z this comes from set a so what does it imply y is divisible by x divisible by x and z is divisible by y so that implies y equal to some k1 x and z equal to some k2 y so from this we can easily write that z equal to k1 k2 x so what does it mean that means z is divisible by x z is divisible by x 
so z is divisible by x that means x comma z is in r so we have seen that x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r this, this implies that x comma z belongs to r and this is the condition for a relation being transitive okay so r is a transitive relation and you can also check from the listing of the elements of r that 1 comma 1 is there 1 comma 2 is there that means 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 is there in r that means 1 comma 2 is in the r because this is y this is y and this is x and this is z so xz means 1 comma 2 is in the r so similarly you can check ensure that r is a reflexive relation okay so next problem exercise 1.1 problem number 1 and subpart 4 relation r in the set of all integers z defined as r equal to x comma y such that x minus y is an integer so r is defined as x y such that x minus y is an integer so what is the set of integers z is the set of integers and it consists of plus minus 2 plus minus 3 0 up to infinity plus minus 1 0 and up to infinity this is the set of integers so we cannot list the elements of r because it is a infinite set because if we subtract any integer from any integer and we will get another integer this is the closer property of integer with respect to subtraction right so whenever we subtract two integer we get an integer okay so let us check for all x belongs to z whether x comma x belongs to r or not so if we subtract x from x we get 0 and this is an integer 0 and in is an integer ok so x comma x is belongs to r that implies and this is for all x belongs to z so this is this implies that r is reflexive relation ok now r is symmetric or not symmetric or not so take x y any x y belongs to z and x minus y and x minus y is an integer because the closer property of integers with respect to subtraction is an integer integer so y minus x what is y minus x that means minus of x minus y and if x minus y is an integer so is minus x minus y so x minus y equal to minus of y minus x and therefore x comma y belongs to r the relation r that implies y comma x belongs to r because if we subtract 3 from 2 that means it is minus 1 is an integer okay and if we subtract 2 from 3 this is 1 and this is also an integer so x comma y belongs to r implies y comma x belongs to r that means r is symmetry relation 
okay next whether r is transitive so take x y z belongs to r uh, sorry z these are taken from z the set of integers and x minus y is an integer let some k 1 and y minus z is another integer k 2 now check x minus z is an integer or not uh, we can introduce y as a mediator so x minus y plus y minus z so y y get cancelled and we have remained with x minus z so what is x minus y that is k1 and what is y minus z that is k2 and if we add two integers that means we get an another integer that is k3 because the integers the set of integers is closed under addition also so this is an integer okay so from here we get that x comma y belongs to r and y comma z belongs to r this implies that x comma z belongs to r so clearly r is transitive transitive relation okay so we have seen that r is transitive relation r is symmetric relation and r is reflexive relation if you remember that when a relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive the relation is called equivalence relation equivalence relation so this relation is again equivalence relation now next problem question number one subpart five relation are in the set a of human beings in a town at a particular time given by r x y such that x and y works at same place so whether this relation is symmetric transitive or reflexive so if x works in a company this is a company name suppose then x comma x belongs to r why because x x works in a company and also x works in a company that means x x comma x belongs to r if x comma y belongs to r that means x and y works in a company a that means y and x works in company a that means r is symmetric right and if x and y works in a company a y and z works in company a that means x y z all three are works in a that means x z works in a that means this is transitive also so this relation is r is an equivalence relation okay r is an equivalence relation so next problem what is saying r x comma y such that x and y live in same locality this is these two are exactly similar if x and x if x in uh, live in some locality then x comma x is belongs to r because x itself is same live in same uh, locality so this is these two are exactly same the reasoning is exactly same so i 
left this as an exercise for you okay now question c r x y such that x is exactly 7 cm taller than y so x is 7 cm taller than y r x y such that x is exactly 7 cm taller than y so if we take x comma x belong to r whether we have to check so x is not taller than x because how can x be taller than itself so x comma x does not belongs to r for all x so this sum this relation is not reflexive and if x is taller than y i denote it x is greater than y then this does not imply that y is greater than x okay that means it is not symmetric but but if x is greater than y by 7 cm and y is greater than z by 7 cm then x is greater than z by 14 cm okay this is not exactly 7 cm taller so that means xz does not belongs to r so that implies it is also not transitive so this relation is not symmetric reflexive or transitive anything so next d r equal to x comma y such that x is y of y okay and this is also similar question number e r equal to x comma y such that x is father of y this is these two are also exactly same so r equal to x comma y such that x is y of y if x is y of y does uh, then x is y of x this statement is absurd so this is false that means for all x belongs to some set x comma x does not belongs to r that means not reflexive and x is y of y then y is y of x no because y is husband of x so that means this r is not symmetric okay and if x is y of y then is y is y of z this cannot be possible this is also absurd so that means we cannot find here also we cannot find any y such that x comma y and y comma z belongs to r we cannot find these two so we will not check that x comma z is belongs to r so it is contrapositively this is a transitive relation transitive relation and the next problem number e number e is almost similar x is father of y this is the same so that's it for today we will solve more problems in another videos so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you